So, you need to figure out how to use fractions, right? Let's start talking about multiplying and dividing fractions first. It's a lot easier than adding and subtracting fractions, okay? Now, as we talked about, prime numbers are numbers that can only be divided evenly by one in themselves. Or, let's rephrase, integers that can only be divided evenly by one in themselves. Now, rational numbers are numbers that can be expressed as a fraction of integers. So, if you start with rational numbers, to understand rational numbers, you have to understand integers. And to understand integers, you have to understand prime numbers. Do you follow? So that's the way it breaks down. So let's take some numbers and break them down and see what we can do with them. Take the fraction two over six. We're gonna start off easy, okay? Number two is a prime number. Number six is made up of two times three. Right? So, 2 over 6 can really be written as 2 over 2 over 2 times 3. Now, with fractions, any number from the top can cancel out any number from the bottom. As long as there's no plus or subtraction sign between them, okay? A lot of construction, a lot of numbers. So, any number from the top can cancel out any number from the bottom, as long as there's no subtraction or addition between them. So 2 kills 2. Now when something dies, it goes to 1. So 2 over 6 is really 1 over 1 times 3, which is just 3. Let's do a harder one. So, harder, harder fraction, let's do it. Actually, let's do two fractions times each other. Yes? Two fractions multiplied together. Over, over, what do we want to call it, seven? Let's call it 50. Now, let's break these numbers down. Yes? Yes. 18 breaks down into 2 times 9, and 9 breaks down into 3 times 3. Now, whenever you break down numbers, if they're branching off, kill the number before it because you don't need it anymore you've already broken it down to its core numbers so 18 goes and 9 goes because we broke down 9 into 3 times 3 so 18 is really 2 Who? 2 times 3 times 3 let's break down 50 50 breaks down into 5 times 10 And 10 breaks down into 5 times 2. So, we kill the numbers before. Oops. I killed the wrong number. Don't kill the wrong numbers. 25 breaks down into 5 times 5. Oops, where are we? 25 breaks down to 5 times 5, and 15 breaks down to 3 times 5. We got that so far? We do. Now, what we said with fractions is, anything from the top can cancel out anything from the bottom, as long as there's no addition or subtraction sign between the numbers. So let's start killing numbers. Anything from the top cancels anything from the bottom. 5 kills 5. 5 kills 5. 3 kills 3. 
what have we got left? Uh, two kills two. So, the only numbers left up top are three, and in the bottom we got five. So, 25 over 15 times 18 over 50 is really three over five. That's how you reduce fractions. You gotta break them down into their prime numbers. Once you do that, it becomes easy to manage them. chalk die. I'm going to go get more chalk to write down the final answer. I'm back with a pink or blue. A little blue guy. You can pink guy. Let's go pink because we got more of it. Final answer for this? 3 over 5. Okay, let's go do more.